माय नेम इज सरंग थेम मनोबी एलाइस खैरन साबा आई एम एन एम ए इन इंग्लिश लिटरेचर एंड मास्टर ऑफ लॉ एम ए एल एल एम आई स्टैंड फॉर द इलेक्शन फॉर द बेटर मैन ऑफ द स्टेट द पीपल ऑफ द स्टेट इन जनरल एंड पर्टिकुलरली टू कन्विंस द इंडियन गवर्नमेंट एंड द इंडियन पीपल थ्रू डेवलपमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एंड टू अनल एवरेट the deteriorating social economic and political status of the people of the state so this why i fight for the election different and myriad problems being faced by the state and the people of the state particularly used to the state is an outcome of the misgovernance of the state so number one survival of the people and self security is ensured after that only empowerment or employment will follow other minor and secondary factors will not be discussed first security the state is primary factor only when the people are secure you shall secure other development will follow when the slavery of the education under the system is vacant quality education or non quality education will automatically come up for example in isolation when consider the state of manipur geography history social status and culture of the people of the state is never included in the syllabi of the system of education so automatically it will follow quality education and uh, non quality education particularly to say there is uh, no quality education in the state and the general perspective of the country we say education system is aimed at getting employment security of the women is not available in full in the state and in the country so empowerment is a, a question which is meaningless security of the women's survival when it is ensured empowerment will follow lady survival is in doubt then how comes the empowerment of the lady the lady feels that she is secure and uh, she is safe then empowerment will follow If I'm able to convince the people and the government of India about the differences being faced by the state of Manipur in the first year, next years I will devote my time to other issues like development, and equality, and non-discrimination and non-racial discrimination, etc. If I happen to fail in the first year to convince the government of India to the parliament, I will have to pursue this number one priority in the following years also. The borders of the Manipur state, in particular. do not know that they are in an atmosphere of captivity they are not free there is political freedom in india but economically socially and uh, in many other aspects the people of india particularly the people of manipur are not free there is freedom politically there is not freedom economically and socially so they are in a way in captivity we are to address this system